Outside the state capitol, the crowd fired up. Democrats showing solidarity against right to work. Inside, the first steps toward making it legal. Complete team coverage on the right to work debate starts now. The state capitol, once again, the epicenter of a union rights battle. Right to work supporters say it will free workers. Critics argue it'll hurt wages and jobs. Our team coverage includes Valina Jones tonight, but we start with political reporter Jessica Arp. Jess? Well, the reason that the crowds are filling the Capitol today, and you can still hear some protesters here singing this evening, is the fast track right to work bill getting a hearing and expected to get a vote yet this evening in the Senate Labor Committee. Both sides arguing over what's best for the state. This issue at its heart is about worker freedom. Senator Scott Fitzgerald, the author of the bill saying union membership cannot be required in the state, started a day long hearing on the issue. The bottom line is that. To move our state forward, Wisconsin needs a modern economy. The status quo has served us well in the past, but in order to see our economy continue to compete at a global level, we cannot remain mired in the antiquated system. He was followed by researchers, union members and leaders, businesses and business groups, all sharing what right to work means to them. But what the most rigorous research shows is that all other things being equal, the impact of adopting a right to work law in 2015 is to lower wages by about 3% for both union and non-union workers across the state. Under current law in Wisconsin, employees who never requested union representation can be forced to accept a union as their exclusive monopoly bargaining agent and be forced to work within the union's monopoly negotiated contract. The government is going to force my union to provide benefits and services to employees that don't pay. How is that fair? Why should somebody get the same benefits as me and not have to pay their dues? That's just wrong. In all, more than 150 people signed up to testify. Many won't be able to when the hearing ends at 7 p.m. Those who did tried to leave the committee with their best arguments. If you don't support right to work, you stand for the proposition that workers should be fired for not wanting to pay dues to a union. And, you know, we just have a fundamental disagreement about whether that's the right policy for Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, you can be successful owning a union company and you can be successful owning a non-union company. I picked the business model of the union company. It's what flavor I liked. And I don't think it's fair to have that freedom stripped from me. Now, union groups do say that they plan to protest the end of the hearing and the vote that's expected to take place yet tonight. You may remember in 2011 when the hearing ended on what's now, of course, called Act 10, that Capitol Police did allow some of those protesters to stay here in the building. Some of them stayed for weeks at a time. Then after that, the Department of Administration says tonight, though, they do plan to close and empty this building after that hearing and that vote ends this evening and reopen the building tomorrow at 8 a.m. Passion on both sides of that debate tonight. Jessica Arp live at the Capitol. Jessica, thank you. Governor Walker returned to Wisconsin after spending some time on the East Coast. He stopped at Green Bay and Wisconsin Rapids. Despite previously saying right to work was a distraction, the governor says now is a good time for the bill and for Wisconsin to join 24 other states. Well, I think the proof's in the pudding. If you look at our neighbors in Indiana and in Michigan, uh, some of those same complaints were made four years ago. Uh, and instead, uh, you see strong economies, comebacks in both Michigan and Indiana that have gone through this process just a few short years ago. The governor stopped at a hospital and a protest was held outside. Some protesting belonged to local unions and said right to work would actually cost the state money. Now, it is guessed that nearly 2,000 people showed up at the Capitol over the noon hour. Our team coverage continues now with Valina Jones, who covered that rally. Valina? That's right. Like you said, Michelle, thousands of people turned out to the Capitol today for that rally to protest against that right to work legislation. And concerns were felt across the board by both union workers and non union workers today. It's not right to work legislation. This is union busting legislation. It's a setting smaller in size, but similar in feeling to the 2011 Act 10 protest. It's kind of sad that we have to be here, that, you know, everything we've heard about our governor, let's move forward, let's move forward. This is not moving forward. Act 10 was like the first, the first piece of the demise 
of, uh, you know, the voice of the people and the, the right to work is just going to be another segment to continue that downward spiral. Around 2,000 people gathered in and outside of the Capitol to protest against Governor Walker's legislation. IBEW Local 965 Union Vice President Holly Kaiser says it will threaten the future role and impacts of unions. That's really what the union's all about. I mean, it is about solidarity. It's about building, you know, our, our, our local and other locals and, you know, so we can provide better benefits, wages uh, for all of our members and the families. It's a potential reality for Patrick Visor, who used to work in a right to work environment. He knows firsthand the possible impacts to come. Two members standing side by side. One is a freeloader getting all his union benefits for free. The other one paying for it. It creates dissension between the workers, and then the company has to deal with it, and it, and it hurts production. A divide both union and non-union workers fear, if passed, it will threaten the fabric of the middle class. This goes Please. through, it's going to deteriorate our, our benefits and our wages and our middle class lifestyle that we're used to here in Wisconsin, and it's, it's not going to help the middle class or anything that we stand for. Now, those who support this bill disagree and say people should be given the right to choose to be in a union or not. So far, there have been no counter protests. However, there is another union rally scheduled here at the Capitol tomorrow at noon again. And everyone that I spoke to today says that they plan to be here again tomorrow to fight for what's right and stand up for what they believe in. Much more to come than Valina Jones reporting live for us tonight. Valina, thank you.